In this video, I'm going to go over the put car function in C, and I'm also going to go over how to use it to output a string in C up until the first new line character. So the put car function is actually included in the STD IO library that we usually include with our C programs anyways. And we can say here put car, and then we give it an argument, which is the character we want to print out. So I'll say here put car A. And what it's going to do is it's going to output that character to standard output, which in our case here is going to be the terminal. So if I compile this program and I run it, the result is actually going to look a little bit funny. So I'll run it here after we compile it and we get A and then the next line of the terminal here. And that's because we output the character A to the terminal, but then the terminal is going to immediately start up again after the program is finished running and we just get the next line of the terminal right there. If we want to make that look a little bit nicer, we could say here put car slash N to output a new line character after the A character. And then that'll start the next line of the terminal on another line. So if we compile this here and run it, we then get A and then on a new line, we get the next line of the terminal. Now, the reason why I say that put car outputs to standard output rather than the terminal is that's technically a more accurate way of describing what it does. So normally when you run your C program on the terminal like this, standard output is just the terminal itself. So that's where our output is gonna go is on the terminal. But standard output can technically be redirected to be something else. So I could say here dot slash D greater than T and I'll say T dot TXT. And so what I'm doing here is I'm redirecting standard output and I'm setting standard output to be this file. So that means our output's actually gonna go there. If I say cat T dot TXT to read the file, I see that the file now contains A and a new line. So technically speaking, just so you know, standard output doesn't have to be the terminal. It could be redirected to be something else. So let's actually use put car now to output a string up until the first new line character in a string. So we'll make a string here first. We'll say car s is equal to, this is the way. We'll do a new line and then we'll say again, dot, dot, dot. And then we'll make a function to use put car to output this string up until that first new line character here. So we'll say void print until new line. And then we'll say car star s because this function is going to accept a string as an argument. And we'll provide a definition of the function down here. And then we'll call it with s as an argument. So the way we're going to solve this problem is we're going to have an index variable that's going to start off at zero. And it's going to go through this string one character at a time. And we're going to use put car to output each character. And we'll just increment that index each time in a loop to just sort of loop through this string one character at a time, printing out each character. But we're going to stop the loop whenever we encounter a new line character. We're also going to stop the loop if we encounter the null terminator, the special character that ends a string. Just that way we don't go off the edge of the string. It's possible that the string contains no new line characters at all. And we want to handle that case gracefully as well. So here we'll make the index variable, we'll say int i is equal to zero. And then we'll say while s at i doesn't equal the new line character. So, so long as we haven't encountered the new line character and so long as we haven't encountered the null terminator character, we're going to keep going. And what we're going to do is we're going to use put car to output s at i and then we're going to increment i. So basically we have a, a loop here that's going from zero and it's going to keep on going, incrementing i each time and putting out the next character each time. So output this character, this character, this character, and on and on up until we either encounter a new line or we encounter the null terminator. At that point, we stop. So we'll give this function a test. We'll call it here. We'll say print until new line and we'll give it S as an argument. And then we'll actually just print out a new line here just so that way we get nicer looking output over here in the terminal. So I'll do a recompilation here and I'll run it. And then we get, this is the way and that's where the output stops. After that, we don't get the rest of it. If I took out the new line, it should still work. So if I take out the new line here, and maybe I'll just say this is the way again like this, we'll do a recompilation here and run it. And we get, this is a new way again. And you know it's, it's handling that situation fine where there's no new line character in the string at all. So we've made a function here using put car that prints out a string up until the first new line character is encountered. Check out portfoliocourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers including courses to help you develop C programming projects.